let's consider in the given java program you have a static block non static block which is also known as instance block and constructor so do you know what would be the execution sequence of these three things static block non static block and constructor when we run the program this is one of the important interview questions and important concepts to understand related to java hey guys welcome back to automation elearn this is suresh tube in this video we will understand what execution sequence will happen if your program has static block non static block and constructor if you are not aware of blocks in java static blocks non static blocks then please watch this video where i have discussed different types of blocks and uh, how blocks are different from the methods in java so this video will be very informative and uh, will give you a complete understanding and a concept related to blocks and methods in java coming back to the topic let's write one small program which has static and non static block along with constructor and uh, we will verify their execution sequence here i have a class called sequence and uh, it has a main method so here what i need to do is i need to take one static block so this is how we define a static block and uh, we'll have one non static block as well so this is the non static block i have discussed and explained all this concept in my previous video related to blocks and methods so you can refer that to understand all these concepts so this is a static block and this is non static block which is also called as a instance block and uh, here we'll have one statement like uh, this is static block and uh, similarly here also we will have one statement print statement this is non static block and uh, we need one more thing constructor here so we'll define it public sequence which is the name of the class so this is the constructor and uh, here as well we'll have one statement print statement this is constructor so so far i have taken static block non static block and constructor and uh, let's create one object here s1 so this is the small program that we will use it has static and non static block and a constructor and here we are creating one object if you are aware of blocks in java then you might have guessed that out of these three things the static block will execute first there might be some doubt between non static block and constructor right because non static block executes whenever we create an object of the class like here we are creating s1 and constructor also execute whenever we create an object of the class non static block and constructor both execute when we create an object of the class so there might be some confusion between these two non static block and constructor because if both execute whenever we create an object of the class then which one execute first that's a very important question over here right so let's execute this program and see what is the order of execution we are getting here in the output we can see first statement is from static block so this statement executed first which is coming from static block and we have a second statement from non static block this is coming from non static block from here which means non static block executed second in the order and at the end constructor is executed and we have this statement from constructor so this is their execution order static block executes whenever your class is loaded into memory so that is the first thing that will execute we can verify this here as well this is the first statement in the output coming to non static block and constructor both execute when we create an object of the class 
but out of these two first non static block will execute and then constructor will execute so this is their sequence of execution as mentioned earlier many a times people get confused between non static and constructor you just need to remember that blocks execute first and then methods so here this is block this is non static block and this is a constructor which is nothing but a special method in java so whenever we have a block and method block will execute first and then method will execute so by this logic you can remember that out of non static block and constructor non static will be the first and uh, constructor will be second in the execution order so this is the correct sequence of execution between non static static and constructor all right guys i hope this discussion clarified the concept and is useful to you please let me know in case of any questions and doubts meanwhile if you like the content and the topics that i am sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you